Hi, I'm Brian Arcis, a portfolio manager on the Ford Global Equity Fund and the Ford International Fund here in Singapore. In the next few minutes, I'd like to chat to you briefly about the objective and the benchmark of the Ford International Fund. As a reminder, the Ford International Fund is our flagship multi-asset class absolute return fund incepted in 1997. First, the fund's objective. When Dave Ford asked me nearly seven years ago to join him in managing a portion of the international fund alongside him, he told me we have two objectives. Don't lose investor capital and deliver returns meaningfully ahead of inflation through an investment cycle. It's not by happenstance how he ordered these two objectives, but in fact, it is quite purposeful that he placed protecting investors' capital first. This is our primary objective and paramount to what we do. Given our primary objective of protecting investor capital, you'd be correct in assuming that we're conservative in both approach and portfolio construction. It's important to point out, however, that this conservatism in portfolio management doesn't mean we cut ourselves any slack in our own expectations of delivering superior risk-adjusted returns. We're prudent while still working to achieve the second part of our objective, to deliver returns meaningfully ahead of inflation through an investment cycle. The combined objective being to deliver solid, real returns through an investment cycle with low volatility and without taking great risk. Second, the fund's benchmark. We often receive questions around the most appropriate benchmark to use when measuring international fund performance. And I want to address the question of how, at least in our minds, the international fund should be measured. First, it's important to highlight that benchmarks themselves can have inherent biases built into them. And the combination of these biases, along with managers selecting their own preferred benchmarks, can result in a portfolio not delivering the desired or expected return despite exceeding its stated benchmark, which is why we've chosen to keep things both as simple and as meaningful as possible with our selection of, of a performance target for the international fund. As stated, our aim is to deliver returns meaningfully ahead of inflation through an investment cycle. To us, that means an internal target of CPI plus 5% annually through time. Now, I thought I'd pull up a picture to more easily illustrate our target and highlight the high bar that a CPI plus 5%, 5% real return represents. Since the inception of the international fund, you'll see here that in actuality, CPI plus 5% would have eclipsed that even of global equities over this same period. Well, a 5% real return isn't easy to achieve in a low or zero rate world, particularly in a conservative manner. We're quite happy to set ourselves lofty goals. To conclude, I hope it's clear that our objective is to deliver meaningful returns ahead of inflation through an investment cycle, defined internally as CPI plus 5%, and to deliver those returns with lower volatility in a manner which does not require the taking on of great risk. I look forward to sharing not only our historic performance against this objective, which has been quite strong, but also the manner in which we have achieved it. Thank you for watching.